But I've come to the point where I want to share my story and help all the people I can. And even the people that are going through it, that it's not the end. It's not as bad as you think it is, because I definitely thought this was going to be way worse than what it is. What's up, guys? I am Frank McGrath, IFBB Pro. If you guys are not on ifbbama.org, you guys need to check it out. A lot of great stuff on there, a lot of great content we're gonna bring you guys. Check out their Instagram and check out their website, guys. Uh, we got a lot of great pros that are answering your questions. That's what I'm gonna do for you today. I got some questions to answer, so let's get into it. So the first question was my dialysis. You know, I was born with one kidney, never really had any problems my entire life. I still continue to do bodybuilding, even though I knew the risks. And I was very lucky that I didn't have any uh, serious problems until I got a little bit older. You know, people wanna know, how do I deal with it? I actually get a lot of questions about it, people going through the similar things or how to avoid it. You know, you can still be a bodybuilder, you can still do all this stuff, but you have, have to take time off. And that's how hard for a lot of people to do. Come off gear, you know, you're gonna get smaller, weaker, not as strong, not gonna feel as good. But that's the part of the game, guys. You got to give your body a break, time to recover, and you know, not uh, overdo it. So that's one of my biggest tips. And also your diet. I'm known for eating a lot of junk food, and you know, junk food isn't always the best for your organs. Don't go crazy with that stuff, and it's, you still enjoy your food, don't worry. Also, people ask me, how do I continue to bodybuild? Not competitively, but you know, personally, I, like, I love to train. I've been training 30 years. How do I do it? And uh, you know, it, it's, a, it's a hard question to answer. If you really love doing something, I don't think there's too much you wouldn't do to continue to do it. I've definitely had a lot of struggles because of this. Uh, definitely a lot of setbacks. Even now, I had to take six weeks off the gym because I wasn't feeling so well and just came back to the gym now and started to feel good again. Honestly, it just took some, you know, diet changes. Can't eat as much as I want to eat or as bad as I want to eat. Some foods you need to avoid because of the kidney issues like having high potassium foods, like too many bananas, potatoes, avocados. Luckily for me, I still go to the bathroom. A lot of people going through dialysis actually stop urinating. That's how the body starts to swell up. Luckily, I don't have that problem, so that's one thing I don't have to avoid. Like a lot of people on dialysis have to measure the water, how much water they drink. Luckily, I don't have that, thank God. And you know what? Understanding that to continue doing what you love to do, you need to adapt to new situations. You can't stay the same person forever. So I've learned to train less and save my energy for the days that I can train. Like there's times I train seven days a week. Now I probably train three to four times a week and I've still been able to maintain, you know, 245 pounds. I think it was uh, Dorian Yates only trained three, four times a week, uh, maybe Mike Menzer. So it's, you can do the same workouts, just con more condensed and more time to rest. And I just realized too, that there's times that I can't train. And the best thing for me to do is just to back off, let my body rest, get the energy back and, and hit the gym when you feel good again. It's, it's definitely been a struggle more mentally than anything, knowing that you got a machine that keeps you alive. It's, uh, it was a lot to deal with at first. And I even didn't talk about it uh, to anybody for, over a year. I don't know if I felt embarrassed or ashamed or whatever you want to call it, but I was definitely afraid of how people would judge me. It, it was definitely very difficult, but I've come to the point where I want to share my story and uh, help all the people I can. And even the people that are going through it, that it's not the end, it's not as bad as you think it is, because I definitely thought this was going to be way worse than what it is. And if you are smart, you take care of yourself, eat well, train, do your cardio, all those good things, I think that you can continue to be a bodybuilder, still look good, still look jacked, all that kind of stuff. You just have to be a little smarter, that's all. The the mental part of it can be very tough, the days that you're not feeling well. But that's anything in life, any kind of problems we're all going through. It, it, this bodybuilding stuff people don't realize is all mental. Um, you have to have a strong mind, not just a strong body to be able to do the stuff. So, yeah, that's my dialysis story and I, I go to dialysis three times a week. I sit there for four hours to uh, filter my blood out. And uh, honestly, it's going going very, very well. So I appreciate you guys' question for that. This can help any of you guys. Um, I hope it does, uh, but be safe. Don't overdo anything, you don't need it. We're living in an age where people think more is better with the drugs and stuff like that. And that's not always the case. I don't think that more will ever be better. Everybody's different, but I think people need to realize it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of diet, it's a lot of training. And that's more important than any kind of drug can do for you. Not to say drugs don't work because they, they definitely work. But it's just a, a part of the formula, if you want to say, to becoming what you want to become. All right. So my next question. I never formally said I was retired from bodybuilding, but uh, 
once I knew I wasn't competing anymore, I started getting tattoos. Uh, and the question was, do my tattoos mean anything? For the most part, no. Most of my pat tattoo, uh, tattoos, <laughs> tattoos do not mean anything. Only this one means something. The one I have here is a wolf. I love this. Is like one of my first ones I got, and that's basically what how I think about myself. I mean, I have a lot of friends. I like to do things with my friends like that. But a lot of times, I like to be alone. I've always been a been a lone wolf, and uh, I, I train for most of my years alone. I have no problem being alone. I think you get comfortable being alone. Some people are not, and I've always been that way. I get most of my thinking, work done, whatever you want to call it done when I'm alone. Oh, actually, no, this one actually means me too. This one is uh, an hourglass. And here is a Grim Reaper. And that's the kind of thing like we're all running at a time. We're living here on our borrowed time. It's never it's never guaranteed. And like the Grim Reapers pretty much reminds me that he's always coming for you and you gotta keep fighting. But this, this is my favorite. Uh, but look, people think it's Freemanson or, uh, fuck, I'll get, if I get back to it, I'll remember. <laughs> But yeah, a lot of people think that this means something. And no, I just thought it was cool. I like the wings, the eye, the triangle. I thought it looked cool. Neck tattoo, I thought it was great. I have a leg tattoo. It's not finished yet, so working on that. I just think it's a cool tattoo. It doesn't really mean anything. I got the skull hand here, or not skull hand, but the bone hand. Just thought it was cool. Still gotta get that redone. It's uh, The fingers are the worst. Definitely want more. Uh, the more tattoos, the better. I'm just obsessed right now. It's, a, it's like an obsession. I'm sure Lee Priest can uh, attest to this too. It's just like, man, you just can't get enough. But definitely more tattoos to come, more videos to come, guys. So definitely go check out ifabama.org. Uh, submit your questions. Any questions you guys want to ask, we'll answer it, guys. There's a lot of pros here that can help you out or anything that you just want to know about. So, okay, guys, until next time, take care.